awesome guys I get to come back again and do another tutorial that's great because this series is probably gonna bomb epically and then probably only get eight views but whatever who cares Josh still needs help so I'm gonna help him out uh, in my last video my first video I said I was gonna review the uh, top bar right here and that's what I'm gonna do for all you guys who don't understand what all of the tools do you might understand a few of them or whatnot but I'll go ahead and review them for you since I'm in such a cheery mood at, I don't know, 1 in the morning because my house is never that quiet so I can never record, but whatever. Um, so, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and zoom in, uh, get rid of that red dot for you. Okay, so what we're looking at here is this one is your normal mouse, this one's your multiple select one, and if you have more than one brick, you can click this and you can multiple set. Alright, I'm going to just show you examples for it so let's say we have three red bricks sitting right here if we want to select all three of them but without selecting any other we come and click on the second one come back down one two three now then they're all selected I can click and drag them around that's what the multiple select one does this one is the connected selector the connected selector simply means if all those bricks are connected it will highlight them so let's say I drag and paste all three of these bricks together and then I come up and press the connected selector brick tool and then click on them. It selects all three again because they're all connected together. But if this brick isn't connected and I come to see if I can get all three of them and I only get the two, I know this brick isn't connected. It's really helpful whenever I'm working on guns because if the bolt isn't connected then you know. Uh, this fourth one up here, this is your color selection tool. It selects based off the color. So anything red I will select, but anything that is a trans, a um, lilac, like that brick there, will not get selected. So I want every red brick that I have. I click and it selects every red brick, but not the lilac one because the lilac one is stupid. So that's the example of that one. Um, the one after the color selection tool is the shape tool. And it means every brick that is 2x4x1, by by which is what these are right here, will be selected. Regardless of color, it's all based on what it is. And if you guys haven't noticed, if you have one brick highlighted, way down here at the bottom is the part, part number, colon, 3001, name equals brick 2x4, color equals 21 bright red. That's every single thing that I just wrote right off there. So, it tells you what the bricks are. Uh, but anyhow, this shape tool, shape selector tool, selects every brick that is 2x4x1. By by See? Every brick that is 2x4x1. By by so if I have another lilac color 2x2, two two, and I want only 2x4s, then there you go. That's how you do that. Uh, now then, up here, the very last tool besides the really big one, this one here is a um, shape selector, but it's also a color selector. So let's say I have... A, let me get this set up. Let's say I have another lilac uh, four, two by four, right? And I have three red two by fours. Well, if I click on the shape selector and color selector, it's not going to select the lilac one because it's not the same color red. So I hope that works. Um, this big one, I have no clue what that is. I'm sorry, but I just don't know, okay? And I, I just don't know. Um, before you guys start questioning me, because I know you're going to question me, I'm going to tell you straight up, I've been working with LDD ever since it first came out, like six years ago. I have over 609 creations in my files right now, which is more than a terabyte worth of files. So, if you're going to question me, I'm going to tell you straight up, go look up another tutorial, see if that helps you, and if it doesn't, don't come crying to me. So, with that said, let's continue, because I just had to say that. Uh, the double, the uh, duplicate tool, it doesn't have any special things underneath here, but, because, I mean, all it does is, let's say I have a medium lilac, I have the double selected tool, I click on it, I duplicate that brick. That's pretty much all that does. Um, the rotate tool, it has three, three boxes underneath it. One is like um, 
One is vertical movement, one is horizontal movement, one is uh, like diagonal sideways movement. Um, uh, what things can I rotate? I'm thinking of something that I can rotate so I can show you guys this, how the rotate tool works. So right here I have a hinge system set up and I come up here, I press the rotate tool because I want to make this hinged. So you'll see that this box right here will come up and that means there's only one way that this right here can bend and that's this way up and down right please tell me you know what this is if you don't go familiar yourself with logo bricks you'll also have this right here and what you can do is you can take and you can put your mouse on this bar right here and move it up and down which either way just like so or you can click on the um, studs and whatnot and it'll move to that uh, spot Jesus it's hard to do this based off a camera screen guys so bear with me so that's the you can bend it off the circle up here that you see or you can take and you can highlight the green arrow and actually bend it off the green arrow as well you just conform your mouse to the green arrow uh, up here you can also manually type in what the measurement you want it to be so this was 90 degrees so I can do negative 90 and then click and it'll go back to negative 90 and it'll be flat on the ground like I wanted it to be or not because it's not really flat on the ground like I thought it was but whatever um auto hinge tool before I made this video I tried finding a example of how to use the auto hinge tool but given that I have only used it like twice in my six years of building with the LDD I highly doubt you guys are gonna use it <clears throat> so we're gonna move on to the um, hose bending piece and basically all that means is that I can take a hose like this thing hopefully it's one of these that I can do yeah and then I can bend it around like this so yeah I don't use hoses a lot so kinda of pointless to me I'm gonna leave this on screen because it brings me to my next tool this tool right here the paint bucket right now you're selected in the color black which means you can come down and you can paint this thing black congratulations uh, select any other color you want paint it whatever other color you want congratulations uh, now then the little dropper tool right here if you guys have ever done any little bit of Photoshop you know that simply means color selection so you have a brick that you forgot the color of and you use the color selection tool to select that color and then you'll know um this brick this brick right here the very last one is a sticker brick so let's say you want to have it like a uh, computer on one of these slopes so you come to the very last one you click and then it will give you this menu of what sticker you want on it and then you put that sticker on so that's what that very last bar is um the hiding tool doesn't have any special ones and neither does the delete tool so I'm not going to get into depth about that um also I just wanted to point this out there's this little little bar right here this little tab that kind of sticks out on the side if you want to click that you get rid of the brick palette and then you don't have to deal with it during a video and shit like that anyhow oh and also since this um, back arrow has now been highlighted I can click it and the thing that I did comes the thing that I deleted comes back but if I want to delete it again, I just hit the front arrow and it deletes it again. So, yeah, that's what those two buttons do. This video was video number two, in case you forgot. And this was this video was on the uh, the more in-depth versions of these up here. And in the next video, I think I'll go ahead and start building. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later.